This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Yeah, good. We're here at the Kever Rabbi Yaakov Halevi Segal. Rabbi Yaakov Mola, known as the Maharil, was born in Mainz in 1365 and was Nifter in Worms on the 21st day of Elul, 1427. He's one of the greatest all-time Paiskim on upon whom the Shulchan Aruch is based. Piske Mechaber, especially Piske Rama, are based primarily on the Psokim of the Maril. He was universally recognized as the preeminent halachic authority of the time. Now, usually the Maril would follow the, the Psokim of the Aguda. The Aguda was Rav, Sha, Rav Alexander Zuslein Hakoyen. Now, the Maril demanded complete adherence to Piske Ashkenaz. Even in terms of the Nigunim, he held that when you sing a Nigun, the Nigun has to be exactly the way it was sung in Piske Ashkenaz. Now, it's interesting, in the year 1420, the Maril witnesses the mass slaughter of the Jews of Austria, which the Maril would call Austria the Erzdamen, the land of blood. A year later, the Hussite War broke out and it brought uh, great suffering to the Jews of Bavaria and the Rhine. They asked the Maril to intercede, and he made a three-day tainus, and upon the conclusion of the three days, the uh, armies dispersed. He learned from his father, Rabbi Moshe, and then his older brother, Rabbi Kusiel, but he, uh, he wanted to mekayim, have a, have a goyla l'makam Torah. So he exiled himself to learn from the G'day Adar. He came to Vienna to learn to, from Rabbi Shalom. He became the Mamala Makam of his father. So it's an interesting thing, his name was Segal, right? Segal. What does Segal mean? Most people say Sagan Koyen or Sagan Likoyhanim. It's not. Where does Segal come from? When Akash Brochel gave the Torah to Klal Yisrael, he said about us, Vyisemli Skula. By the Chedo Egel, we lost the status of being Segula, except the Levium. So the Vim are called Segal, they retain the Am Segula that the rest of Kal Yisrael lost. So this, uh, the, Maril, the Maril had paralysis. He could not move for three days and three nights. The Tzibur cried, they trembled, they fasted every Monday and Thursday until the Yom Naram to say Slichos. So the Maril, uh, it was about Tammuz time or Av time, and the Maril regains his health. So again, they, they decreed upon themselves fasting every Monday and Thursday. And the Maril walks into the shul. So now what? Do they have to complete the Tainus? So they completed the Tainus even though they didn't have to because he got better. So Maril says that he was very grateful to them that they completed the Tainus. By the way, one thing we learned from and the Maril lived another 30 to 40 years after they fasted for him. The Mishnah Brewer brings down that from here we see that the custom was to say slichais in the middle of slach lanu. And Mishnah wants to derive from here that a yachid could say slichais in the middle of Shemana Esrei for, for um, a, a tzibur, in other words, a tzibur could say slichais in the middle of Shemana Esrei even for a yachid. Says the Mishnah it's not a raya. Listen to a Mishnah Bura. Mishnah Bura says, Yesh loimar, this is a Mishnah Bura, Simen Kuf Yotes, if cut on your base. Shani maril, the Maril is different. Since the Rabbim needed his Torah, he has the status of a Rabbim. And therefore it's not a Raya that a Tzibur could daven in the middle of their, uh, for a Yachid, in the middle of the Esrei, because the Maril had a status of a Rabbim. So I'm going to tell you a few interesting practices of the Maril. The Maril never called his wife a wife. He would refer to her as the Hoizfrei. Always call her wife because the Gemara says Ishta is ubeisai. So he's makvit to call his wife the Hoizfrei. Don't try that at home. And the Maril says like this: Sanhedrin, Sanhedrin. Where does the word Sanhedrin come from? I don't know. Uh, it's an Aramaic word. No, it's Rosh Tevos. Soinim hadras panim bedin. Sanhedrin. Soinim hadras panim. Those who hate favoritism and din. Chazal say a bezin of two is called what? A bezin chatzof. Why is it a bezin chatzof? Because for, if it would be two, then for them to have a decision, it would be, have to be unanimous. That means if the, guy, if the guy would come over to them, they would have to say, look, we found you guilty. But now that a bezin is three, whoever he comes to, he could say, look, ah, I found you innocent. It was the other two guys. Okay, very interesting. Maril writes, all the refuas and shas... 
you're not allowed to do them. Any refuah, let's say the Gemara in, in Parak uh, Hanizakin brings different refuahs, he says you're not allowed to do them. Why? Because you might not do it correctly, and then you're going to question the Chachamim that they don't know the refuah. No, you're not allowed to do it. In fact, the... Um, but there's one refuah you're allowed to do. The Gemara in Shabbos says if you have so- something stuck in your throat, then you take the bone of that type of uh, bone that got stuck in your throat and you say, Chad, Chad, Nochus, etc. And the Marul says it's Badek Umanus. In fact, in the Hagois of Rebbe Kiveger, he brings down the exact Nosach to say. And uh, the Yamsha Shomel adds, to use the refuahs in Shas, there's a Cherem against using the refuahs that are found in Shas. What did the Marul do for a living? It was a Shadchan. The Maril took his Parnasa from Shadchanas. Maril said, Maril said the most kosher money is Shadchanas. Ma, a very interesting thing. In the new editions of the Maril, he brings a Haisafa. How many times a year do we take out the Sefer Torah? Shabbos, Monday, Thursday, Shabbos by Mincha, Tanesim, Rosh Chodesh. 248 times. Keneged Evarav Shaladam. It's the friend of Maril. The Maril says... Um, the Maril, one, one last practice, he would walk around holding a safer in his hand. Why? Because if people would stand up for him, he would be able to say they're not standing up for him, they're standing, out, they're standing up for the safer that he was holding. So the Maril is the backbone of our Sakim. And should be Zoycha in this Makaim, in this Makaim, which was a Shefa of Piske Halacha for Klal Yisrael from his time until today, should be Zoycha to Shefa of Torah, Vir Shamayim. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.